Good morning. I'm Diane Norton with the Idaho Department of Commerce, the D Division of Tourism, and I'm here to introduce and invite your community to take pride in Harvest Idaho one bite at a time. What is our Harvest Idaho? It is a statewide culinary tourism initiative to increase tourism in the shoulder season, September, October, November. In short, heads and beds and butts and restaurant seats. What is culinary tourism? Is it two all beef patty, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions, and sesame seed bun? No, it's more than that. It is experience in other cultures through food and beverage that challenges and intrigues the five senses. Tasting, smelling, seeing, touching, and hearing. And is considered a vital component of the tourism experience. It's just, it's just not for four-star restaurants. Any destination that offers a unique, memorable experience benefits from culinary tourism. With the buzzword culinary tourism incorporated into the Amer American vernacular, the culture of, of culinary travel was inspired in part by the popularity of Food Network. Rachel Ray, Guy Fierro, Adam Richman, who incidentally have all featured shows from Idaho. And let's not forget about Sideways, the 2004 release from Hollywood, where memorable quotes from Miles, don't be shy, really get your nose in there, and I'm not drinking Merlot. Never before had a movie triggered mainstream audiences to talk about food and wine pairings. Why culinary tourism? Idaho produces a diverse array of foods. The thriving agriculture sector yields over 140 different crops with flourishing cattle and dairy industry and an expanding wine industry. While clearly a niche market, culinary travel involves millions of travels, travelers spending billions of dollars. 27 million travelers, or 17% of American leisure travelers, have engaged in culinary or wine-related activities in the last three years. On average, culinary tourists spend $1,195 per trip. The culinary tourist is more likely to take local foods and wines back home with them and share them with family and friends. This presents a secondary opportunity for, for, opportunity for destinations to spread the word about their unique offering. The profile, active, more fluent, better educated than non-culinary travelers, and are responsive to travel packages that focus on the uniqueness of the destination and the local food and wine entertainment. Example, Idaho Rocky Mountain Ranch near Stanley is offering a September wine weekend that offers food and wine pairing. The culinary tourists make travel decisions based on the desire for a wine and culinary experience and rely on recommendations from family and friends, online resources, and specialized publications. Culinary tourists are attracted to activities such as cooking classes, dining out for a unique, memorable experience, visiting farmers markets, gourmet food shopping, attending food festivals, touring wineries and breweries, driving a wine trail, and attending wine festivals. Where do we begin? Develop a fall culinary tourism product from September 1st through November 6th, approximately 10 weeks to showcase our statewide opportunities. Identify food events to support a culinary calendar of quality experiences for both residents and visitors. For example, cooking classes, wine and food, pairings, meet the chef, the art of picking at a you pick farm. We need to reach out to local restaurants and have them identify their signature dishes that feature Idaho products and what their local favorite is. We need to help ease the travel hassle for these visitors while at the same time extend their stay and enhance their experience. Destinations should collaborate and cross-promote to offer an immersion into the local culture from everything from the hotel experience, outdoor activity, and cuisine. Let's start by creating a three-day experience for our travelers. Add this information into our database, updateidaho.com, which interfaces with our official travel website, visitidaho.org. Check the culinary field option, which populates our culinary page. Please let me know if you have any questions. My email is here. Information for this presentation was supplied from the first ever survey taken by Gourmet Magazine, International Oregon Culinary Tourism Association, and the Edge Research Foundation. Cheers.